Okay, okay. So welcome to, uh, I guess, Zip's stream. Uh, this is going to be, I think, two to three hours? Yeah, two to three hours. Probably closer to two hours. I'm pretty tired. But uh, it's a visual novel, right? So shouldn't really matter, um, theoretically speaking. Hopefully it shouldn't matter. Hopefully it's not like Undertale where I actually have to uh, execute stuff. I assume I can play this with the like, mouse and keyboard. I also have no idea about this game other than the fact that it's mature. But uh, anyways, this stream is, I think, tagged mature. And if it's not, whatever. I think we've been streaming a bunch of mature games on the stream. We streamed, uh, what is it, Needy Stream or Overload? And uh, I don't know, some other games like... I. Doki Doki. All the visual novels on this game, on this stream are, are basically mature. So everybody knows that already. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anything... It's not like you're going to see anything. It's more of the mature topics. So what do I know about this game? It's about 2009, so I'm a total boomer uh, playing this game. So that'll be great. I'm sure that uh, I won't understand anything because I don't understand that culture. <laughs> I barely understand the culture of, that, you know, of uh, 2005. Good times. So uh, hopefully that music is not working. Okay, maybe you can hear the music now, but it's like really low, I think. Maybe I should up it more, hold on. How's that? That might be better. It's like maxed out, but the volume is pretty low on the, on the bars. But my 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 voice is probably okay. Uh, let's see if I can't see the sound mixer here. Volume mixer. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is like. That might be better. Then I just gotta turn down my sounds. Oh, I see. I think that's better. I don't know. We'll see. Or I can... Oh, I see. I can't raise it past... Whatever. Anyways, uh, here's the sound. Here's the actual... Blah. Here's the game. Once it pops up. Once it pops up. There it is. So I think the, the screen is right. All I know, what do I know about this game? You're uh it's like a harem anime. It's like a it's like a spoof of harem games. So you're like you're one of the harem girls and you're trying to not go on dates and stuff. Is that is that the thing? Alright, anyways, uh hopefully that's good. This is very relaxing music, I gotta say. The piano and everything. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, maybe my mic should be up more. I think that's right. All right. I think that's fine, actually. Make no mistake. This game has voice acting? I'm a sociopath. Sweet. Is this like Mean Girls the game? Evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the it's divorce sort of rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. Damn. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song, yeah, I can't relate. But then That's one peak year, 2000. All of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I, like, started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. And they were just stupid. Sweet. I love Mean Girls. Been pretty. At least the original version. I've never seen the remake. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it, and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. Wah, wah. Not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. You are out of touch. She told me it's a remix of musical, too, I think. And I just got settled. 
I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door, and boom, a gunshot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in. Floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. Wow, it's got real. This, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm moving. Again. City, county, state. All the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. So yeah, they remade, they remade Mean Girls this year, I think, or last year. Because Mean Girls, the original one, was like 20 so, years old. Did you see your prank this year? What if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Wow, oh God, Kyler. So funny. <laughs> yeah, I hate this guy already. This year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> God, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. True. Hey, hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into like humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know so many logos. Are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I can show you around. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Humor the school tour. Decline and gold strain. Straight, straight to class. Sure, let's humor the school tour. G Mobile. Oh man, sidekick. What is this phone supposed to be? I'm sure someone knows. I'm sure, side. Is it? The end gauge did not look like this, right? But this is great. Uh, let's go on the school tour. Sure, why not? So then my friend got the DLC. This downloadable content. It's like. Ten dollars, like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know. Uh, what you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play Hilarious. dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well, yeah, you know. I know what. Did. Did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. But I'm bum. Rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed, double dick sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials. Oh yeah, like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact. Hey, what is this? Fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. <laughs> oh. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay Hilarious. out of this, you, you girl. Oh, we're double downing on the ripple abuse. What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga book. <laughs> Japanese manga book? That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. They're not backwards. They just read right to left. No one cares. I care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. Like... Naru Party 13. He's got 1600 subscribers. Sweet. Do you have that many? Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How else do you think videos get there? It's for watching TV shows. You don't fucking participate in it. What am I gonna go on YouTube and get digitally molested? No. It, uh... <laughs> You're gonna transform? Whatever. Everything's fine. My mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. The most notable thing you could do is killing yourself before graduation. Then your dad can cry in front of school assemblies next to a black and white photo of you. But I'm bum. No, little bitch. <laughs> I'm straight. So hey, you're like pretty cool. What's your name? Well, my last name's Yu. Most people just call me that. Yu? What is it, like Asian? That's hot. Yeah, Grandma had yellow fever. Cool, yeah. So what's your first name? Fuck. Bum, bum, bum. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? 
You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's Everybody here has a weird name. Or oh, half of them, I guess. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Jekka? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to add her all with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like on your birth certificate? For, for Jessica, Avi. Oh, That's clearly. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses so preppy yeah my mom works corporate for department stores so i get all this expensive stuff for free but trust me i don't give a fuck cool yeah same nicole you ready for day two is someone gonna kill me day two if so absolutely why what happened just like waking up in general hurts and i gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything he can eat family-sized meals how old is he like 26 he just freeloads oh. off my mom i mean we kind of freeload too but we're 16 it's cool when we do it exactly i have to tell him that when i'm woken up by loud chewing noises is he fat do you know what ex bodybuilder fat is yeah i kind of know what that looks like well he's an obese monster i was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase he's not that Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Gym class it is. Well, you'll have to watch the new uh, the new Mean Girls and let me know how what you think about uh, about it, Zip. Because you haven't watched old Mean Girls, so you can watch like the newer one. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys. No comedians. No bringers of the ha ha. Okay. This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down. On I'm just gonna pick the first choice every time. Fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Go to locker room and change. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Can you? You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I uh, thought you might need a spare shirt. Not creepy at all. Thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See? You just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. Super creepy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. You were a literal pedophile. Scream as loud as you can. Good thing this was on the top. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to fuck! Honey, quiet down there. I need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass! Oh my god, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Were you really grabbing some minor ass? Minor is in underage. I think my ass is pretty major, to be honest. I've been at this school for 15 years. No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I knew installing those spy cam those security cameras would screw me over. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm definitely happy our gym teacher Good was times. a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. My mom was like, oh, it's hush money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly this much. Who needs morals when you have designer? Don't worry. This, uh, this channel isn't monetized or anything, so I think it'll be okay. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? I mean, it's not like we're streaming Hoonie Pop or Honey Pop. Honestly, it's going pretty good. 
Oh, it's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. The typical viewers are all watching the other channel. Company, ask me out, ask for anything. And I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings. There's no stress. How free. Honey, that sounds a little mean spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. Uh, I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, Mom? Nicole, I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Oh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking kids nice, mom? This conversation is over. <laughs> oh. And so you see... The aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Oh man, that's true. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Passive aggressive eye roll. Oh, sweet. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying... You can't uh, talk like that to her. I can talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See? You don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. You're on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. <laughs> I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great. I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except the swear to God part. I'd like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn, back the divine ass up. Enough. When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. <clears throat> Do tell. Keep lying. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said? Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for like years now. Really now? Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Jessica here was there too and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious, they should know too, don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Oh, that. Uh... It was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? 
my essential areas. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in Damn, big trouble. Damn, this game got real. Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. I believe you, sweetheart. Oh, awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. Oh man, double down. Let's keep going down this. No way, you're actually gonna do something about it? Aren't we broke? No, oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you? There's good old so mess stuff. There as it is. Mess up. This is pretty messed up already. Well, he but I assume there's already going to be a suicide route, right? Have his way. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, he just does it right in the middle of class. You're joking. Yeah, just grabbing titties with no shame. He threatens to kill us if we tell anyone. That is unfucking believable I know. There's like 29 of us. That's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. Under the jail? That that's a, uh, that's a weird, uh, In your own thing. words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah. Yeah, that okay. was spoiled in the trailer so, for the game, the school shooting one. I'm just one. doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. And it's an art class, so the table's huge. Big enough for four kids. There's not enough really? jurors in that box. Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. In front of all the students, too. Then his hands started massaging my breasts. It was so... Wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. We'll see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. Fine then, continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Oh really? Wow. He called me his- I've only been on a criminal jury, so. ...property and said my- Sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. <gasps> all right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. This is quite oh, the imagination you have. But really, people, are we going to believe this charade when the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. Try this to the bank. Oh man, we're going top. So just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However, a female principal? When you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lynn? What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. <laughs> now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey Sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Settle down. Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever reported anything like five minutes ago. Damn it! Oh, Coach just texted me again. 
Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Hilarious. You've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. Really? Damn, Zip. Did it go to court? It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax Oh, man, the Laugh Factory. is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. I wonder what Nicole... There's a lot of actresses named Nicole, right? Or is it supposed to be, uh... Well, it's 2009. Yeah, you have to send me that later. Everything works for everyone? So wait, what happens if I click on this? Okay. So... So now I hit continue, I assume? Or it's all down. I know. I think that's the best ending. Everyone, everyone. If I learned anything from '80s movies, that would be the best ending. I was thinking about how so many '80s movies just end with "I." The char the main characters are rich, and that's pretty much it. Or in the case of uh, Short Circuit Two, Johnny Five gets naturalized. It's either citizenship, being rich, or citizenship and being rich. I think in half the 80s movies. That, uh, half the 80s movies not involving action, not, not action films. Like Mac and Me, which I watched the other day finally after all those uh, Paul Rudd clips. The spoilers, the aliens get naturalized at the end. They become citizens. So I guess we continue and... Did I not save? Oh, I can go back in time to any of those things? Okay. I don't know. What, what's quick... Uh, there's no quick saves? All right. Well. All right. So now we'll just pick the bottom... The bottom... The bottom choice every time. Make... I have to manually mistake. save. So I can skip this part. I'm a sociopath. They're still oh, auto sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over... What about a... Hey, so for the senior prank this... Oh, there we go. So I can hit save. All right, so now we have a save oh at the beginning. Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. God, they are never... F hey, yo. <laughs> no, yeah. we can skip through this part. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Tell him off and cut class. I'm going to be honest. You seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait. Most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. what I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settle for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid-fire of assumptions. Tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, all right, I'll, I'll see you later. Hilarious. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here, like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. 
Last season, we went seven and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only Hilarious. lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool. Seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got them right here. You want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Yeah. Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey, dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble. Avoid getting murdered for snitching. In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything. Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train fan club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train fan club. I just sponsored the Model Hilarious. Train fan club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I have glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me, both of you. Honey. What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kind of has a point with that, Bob. You kind of need to get a fucking job. You're 26. Hilarious. I told the you Xbox the logo t-shirt. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. You don't even have rights. Well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again. I'm not paying for private school. And I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom, I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point! Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine! I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. Yeah, baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join my party chat and we can game. What, what the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an Yeah, idiot. that's the OG Xbox, well, as it should be. I'm a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm just trying to score some 15-year-old Canadian ass. Hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no. You know how, like, Canadian bacon is just ham? C Canadian ass is just a mature 15-year-old. See? Same thing. You're... Oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Make him gone for good. Hilarious. All the bottom ones. What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's like so hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93. Her bio's like, only interested in older guys, so hit me up whenever. Up for anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. Oh man, she's just a town over too. Damn. I'm gonna message her. What should I say? You're like a legal adult. Shouldn't you know how to do this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls want to hear? Come on. All right, fine. Um, first tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Okay. This is gonna end with Chris Hansen, isn't it? Say you want to buy her drugs and alcohol, and no pussy shit, like full-on heroin. 
I'm sure other guys promise that too, though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. I don't know. But, like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude, that's like genius. She's gonna so want the D. Hilarious. What do you want? Are you dating site user Heavy D No MC? Yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busted in here. By the way, that's like a sick user name, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch snitched me out. God damn it. Rest assured, there was no Kenzie. No. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up. Fucking Nicole, you bitch! My first phone call is gonna be a bomb threat to your friends! Is the driver's license that hard to get? I guess it could be. My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. You know I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Uh, 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 Alright. Hey, you... don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Oh, oh I'm meta. Back. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Hey, I'm Jekka. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to? Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games. Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah. He's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's like really into video games is he one of those guys that like huh. on the news for messaging kids last night he begged a 15 year old for naked pictures oh my god he's that guy is he in prison yet uh we'll see hey i'd love to hang around more but i gotta get to class where are you headed to i guess we're going to photography i guess So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young Annoyingly lady. quirky. That's you a great You sound line. way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you can help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. I needed you alone to ask something else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. What could okay, go wrong? the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. Yeah. Free, free food. Free what? food, let's go. Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your post. What could go week. wrong? Well, I bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. 
I'll be at home Googling expensive Time to get murdered in the woods? Is that what's gonna happen? A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. Wait, it's actually a photo shoot so far? Just fades out into the highlights of the wheat behind you. Yeah, they actually thanks. went to a wheat Can field. About something other than skin. It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. It's gonna go sounds of the Curse lambs. Of being a photographer. Okay. So what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome oh, man. behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And yes, we are. It was a pleasure. <laughs> this is gonna be. The pleasure was all yours. Uh, so there's a steakhouse on the other side of town, and yes, yes, I'll hold up my end of the deal. Don't worry. But oh man. Leave, I just to wow, this did go a different route. Do you enjoy being white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase. Oh. The Wow, this was definitely not where I thought this was going. Culture? Are you a proud white woman? Yes, we're going bottom. This is great. Wow. Charlie should save. I'm gonna save under the slot. Yeah. yeah. Totally love it. A lot actually. Can we go now? Oh, Do that's I? Wonderful to hear. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This wow. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Anytime, any place. Now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, you deserve it. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Damn. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists. Damn, learning so much from this game. So he's Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh, that makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? Non-racist girls gotta stick together. Well, we're picking the bottom one. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough. You can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? Yeah. You're such a bitch. How? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this, and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. I'll see you after school? Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... Well, you'll see. See, Nicole? Doesn't it just feel great to openly talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually. Not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach, really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind? But I'm bummed. Nearly a societal taboo. 
A social construct, if anything. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Here we go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. At the end of the day, love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? I'm about to dial 911. Nonsense. What's wrong? Talk about something way cooler. Uh, nothing. Never mind. Have you heard comeback season? Comeback season? It's that new mixtape from the actor-rapper guy. Oh, sounds cool. Always important to be in tune with the music you kids listen to. Right. Well, I need to go meditate to it. I'll see you later. Great talk, by the way. Oh, and same to you. I love a young woman who isn't afraid to challenge societal norms. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Outros. Hi. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't... Uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kind of confronting him, and his arguments weren't... That's out there. I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like, he asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride. And I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed <coughs> off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non white races are kinda exterminated oh it's probably not even that serious all i know is i'm proud to be white oh man well we're going bottom this will be the end of the channel clearly right i'm kidding i guess when you think about it it is kind of silly to tell just one group they can't be proud it's tagged mature exactly like isn't that racism in itself i get where you're coming from see he's not so bad Hey, you should come to the shoot with me. We can make it a social thing for a good cause, you know? This weekend. Yeah, I guess. Yes, I clearly. This is going to go. Awesome. This is yeah, uh, this is topical. He'll fill us in on this whole solution for race relations and everything. His ethnic when did this game came out like last year, though? If black people get February, we could at least get California. You think all the white people would fit there? If not, then Washington and Oregon, too. Minorities still have another 47 states to pick from anyway. Ending one. That's a good point. See We've done one ending. The best ahead. ending, getting rich and moving to California and L.A., clearly. Well, long story short, I went to the shoot and Mr. White got the bright idea of having wow. a little chlorine bomb that could level a food court. This we got really real. We were doing while giving him a hand with the supplies. We just thought he had a really big pool. He detonated it at a Puerto Rican rights bingo night, killing himself in the process, leaving us as the only living traces of DNA found at the scene. It's ironic because, like, I wasn't racist in the first place. Then I dabbled in racism just to be friendly. Then I tried really hard to convince the jury I still wasn't racist, and now I need to be racist and join some Aryan sisterhood for prison wow, protection. Wow, game is uh, every is definitely got all model? the endings. All right, that's ending two. We never got all the needy streamy streamer overloads because those were much harder to get endings for. That was like a work, but this is a, a true visual novel, so I have high hopes that we can get a lot of them. Uh-huh. 
Wait, are these not related to the endings? They're just as I as I uncover endings, we just get more things. Did you tell me how to get the true ending? I don't even remember. So I guess as I reveal endings, there's more of our messages, and once I get all 15 messages, a story will be uh will be revealed. I'm sure someone's tried calling this number, right? Just like someone tried, just like when you call the fallout number, you hear like, I think uh, you hear screams. All right, so what do we do? We need to do the middle route. Make. Hey, so for the second oh. prank this year. Oh my God, that is. Good. God. Whoops. They are never. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, I could show you straight to class. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. Yeah. Oh, you must. Oh, I see. Yes, please take a seat. That's actually pretty meta. Jeffrey. Hey. Oh, this is an end with a school shooting, isn't hey, it? So, uh, I already know. I already I know, guess, right? I guess we're lab partners, huh? I guess. Not a big talker, are you? I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, that's a good thing. It means you're cool and different. And that's right. Pounds. What was that? Oh, nothing. It was just converting British currency in my head. Cool, see? Um, well, the teacher said I'm Jeffrey. What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, we go in top or bottom now. Uh, let's go top. What? So you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. This is your class. Well, we're gonna get to know each other <laughs> Got anyway, it, Miami. Right? Probably not. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. What's New Kid Grace period? <sighs> It's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of new kids way above their social status. So when the new kids get here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation or friendship until they find the people on their social level. How do you know I'm not on your social level? Fucking look at you. This Listen is the game creator's, creator's voice. That's hilarious. Not. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I didn't do anything. I know. It's what you will do. So basically, it's like LSP in Adventure Time. Laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, just all that weird shit. You know, the other pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. They talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm funny. Oh, you're funny? Tell me a joke. Oh, man. Oh. Well, it's more like in the moment you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. Ah, I got you there. A lot of the girls here said they're saving themselves for me. Christ, they make it that obvious here? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, it... Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. I'm funny. I know I am. God, the food here is tragic. Even the air has preservatives. Fucking tell me about it. That's why I pack. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, chemistry, I think. I don't know, I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you have to, like, wash acid off you before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away. Pretty much just me away in general. Who was it? Do you know? Um, Jeffrey? Oh, yep. He's a fun one. But he's so, like, overly chummy. That's fun to you? No, oh, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? So he went up to some of the girls' boyfriends like, ah, she's in love with me. This is to end it, totally oh ending God, with the school shooting. Funny. Because they were all like 14, three guys just beat the shit out of him for it. Now we have all these stupid anti-bullying rules. I never got how they could like enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. Well, I'll see you around, Nicole. Nicole, you ready for day two? 
Was someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. Should we skip Just some of this? This is the same scene, right? Yeah. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but... Exactly. I have to tell him that. Is he mm -hmm. fat? Bodybuilder. You know yeah. Yeah, I kind of... Well, he's an obese monster. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. Oh, different I told you yesterday. If I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be I love some school. weird shit. Like, isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Wait, I picked photography last time or did I pick gym class last time? I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's go to gym class. I think I picked photography last time. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys. No I've been to both. No yeah, I get it. So, oh, okay. but I didn't know if there's going to be like a slightly different interaction because when I went to photography the other time, there were different people in the class. Fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> Nicole, you want my phone? This is only the no. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Let's see. Uh, I did not pick this one last time. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. What? what do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, doc? No, it's just this general, ha ha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? <laughs> no, just normal. Never mind. Because <laughs> I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Uh, vicious reality check. Let's be mean. No one cares. Just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here, and I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. Oh There's man, that's Sorry, which one grows too up to be real. A and which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? Delay a probably inevitable school shooting. That is usual play take. Now let's go. Let's let's just go to the let's just go to the trailer scene. What are cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? Uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see, more of that cartoon-sounding shit. You won't stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? No, Jim. What happened? Like, okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. Tell us, I wanted to watch. Wasn't much of a fight, honestly. Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just like how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date or sex or anything, and he just went with it. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically do it this all the time. Poorly. I just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? I don't know. I'm still just trying to process why he'd fist fight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty. Pretty what? Oh, you're just really pretty. But like that pretty? No way. If you're going to be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm going to find someone else to sit with. No, seriously, like what are they worked up over? <sighs> you're cute, long flowing hair, and big... I mean, it's okay, it's I'm very clear that any choices I make are just going to end in... Like, 
Why aren't we Hilarity. consciously using this to our advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Strippings for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, Wow, everyone's so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? And that's like half my friends. Oh my god. What? No way. <laughs> and then, and then, Oh no, I'm 26 and ran out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone really run out of guys? You run out of good ones real quick. Oh yeah. So this new philosophy, unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. But I'm pumped. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely right, we've heard for this myself, before. not concerned with their feelings. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being... Uh, I won't argue. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women... Nicole, I don't know anyone... Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm... Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girl... Uh, I'm sure you'll meet... How can I meet a nice boy when all men are... This conversation is over. Two thousand eight. And so you see, the aperture actually gets wide. Did I really forget my eye? Him. <clears throat> Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cost. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Shoot, I can't remember which I picked. I think I picked the bottom one. No, I can't remember. Yes. Well, you know what? I can just save. This is why I don't play enough visual novels. What did I pick last time? I picked the top one before. All right, so I can't tell. I picked the top one. Thank you. See, chat always knowledgeable about everything. Pinball, uh, 2XKO, other stuff. Thanks. Not nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, this is new. How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me. Yeah, classmates. I know. You can't That's part of visual novel fun. No and saving. About your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? Did they really have photography class I mean, still in 2009? It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone, no problem. <laughs> Out! <laughs> no! You actually had photography class? Yeah, okay. Nicole. That's good to we know, Miami. There we go. See? So Realistic like enough. The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. <laughs> talking out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? Uh, what did I want to do? Shed some light on everyone else. Sure, let's be mean. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question here? Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too. You're all psychotic. A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. 
I try to level with all my students, so can you really blame him? Some of your attire has been quite low cut here. Go on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time you've been here. Creeptastic. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me right now? Where's the hidden camera? What show is this? What are you talking about? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, there's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on social constructs? I'm leaving. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit talking, Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's Glasson and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever. Just a little fun on the side while picking up bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah, me too. How do you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if <laughs> I can't go. Hilarious. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Oh, man. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? On one condition. Uh no, let's uh let's what's this one condition? Shoot, I'm gonna have to remember this next time, so we're gonna go with on one condition. Uh maybe. But you need a conversation starter if we're gonna justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like 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 put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The dark room has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you Damn. just destroying that shit. Oh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, make a friend. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. This seems like the longest run yet. So what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I YouTube in 2008, what a time. By the way. Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements. I wasn't going to say the... We'll make sure it fits. Wow, creepy. Uh, every curve. I wasn't going to say. Thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. Speaking of 2008, what was I going to say? There was a, a three hour documentary released on Dark Side Phil today. It's like real on YouTube. Might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn. What else is new? What? You I had no idea Dark Side Phil was still a thing. Notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? I'm gonna have to check he it out. to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you wow. tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a... Low tier God still around? Wow. Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. I mean, I, I know he's still around, but like still a thing. That's worse than what I thought he was gonna do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have home ec make it. Home ec? What are they going to make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was going to do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. 
God damn it. He docks the creator? Wow. Locks. The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed. Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're going to be late. No shit. How many is this again? Nailed it. What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock uh, on the, the doors. Saw it the as Viz logo. Uh, the knockoff Viz day. logo. Plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole. If your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. I I'm love sorry, the t-shirt. cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What, because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry, now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? But um bum Wah wah wah. So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear, like no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Zing. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears and a tail and were basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up. I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Yeah, this is like a really long route. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for like three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a tip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school oh, lab last night. Oh, what a hilarious uh, no, coincidence. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait, it's only like a minute, see? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay ass photo lab. 678 oh 999 It's for people who like animals. It's for people who like animals. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yo, what's up? You're expelled! 
No, no more lacrosse. Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? The huh? fake Quicksilver yeah. uh, logo is he also... He really did it. And the fake Stussy logo, good stuff. Wow, it's like been three years. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. <laughs> but um, bum. I wonder which of them is gonna die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our differences here and there, but sign my yearbook. So topical, everything. Oh, is this one of those fake choices? We should totally write something mean. But man, there's a low-tier god documentary. Wow. Hags, die, you're a bitch. Nice. The best. And once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. This reminds me, wasn't Darkseid Phil valedictorian of his school, of his high school class? Yeah. I think he was. Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? If that's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here. Hilarious. Like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. <gasps> hey, that's a mistake. That, that's not what was written. <laughs> That's why you don't have people come up. Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out. Just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you. When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out. Because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, you fucked the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted The lore is so club. deep. Politics or fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. I already have. Wow, that was like the longest like route. Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent Three out of, of 15 are hot? indeed. Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. 
I promise. I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. So this was totally like the 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 suicide ending, right? They just don't want to say it for whatever reason because they say everything else in this game. Sorry, the unalive ending. Let's be let's be let's be topical. Let's be uh, modern. I can't read all this. Maybe, maybe not. I just realized this clock is the real time. It's synced to my computer clock. All right, hold on. We, I will be taking a quick break, but I'm gonna leave everybody with this, uh, this music. I'll be right back. I just gotta, I gotta do something. All right, uh, back. Let me do this. Back in the air conditioning is on, so uh, I won't sweat to death right now. Okay, uh, where are we? Three out of 15. All right. No, Nicole, definitely a sociopath. Uh, I like how quit is go outside. Nice. Hey, oh. yeah. <laughs> No, oh wait, we could have no, just no, no, loaded no, no. my save. Like, like a school tour. All right, so what we've do done. You up for that? What does this button do? No, 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 no. I, oh, I see. You. I mean, kinda. There's oh, like you can go backwards. On the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. I see. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Yeah. So then my. Why are you just so? I'm a thin. Oh. I know. Did. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Ro hey, stop. Oh yeah. Hey, what? Manga. Jap wig. Uh -huh. Dude, what do you like? Stay out of this, you, you girl. Damn, I already forgot what I did. <laughs> but I'll just click in backwards. Now you can use the pill bottles to go backwards in time. Also, that's totally like a Kaiser Permanente pill bottle. <laughs> Looking at this more, I recognize that. Uh, I think we watched it. We this is the new one. I'll just let this play out. Yeah. You should beat your ass for like an anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair. Oh, 
broke his glasses. I gotta split. Oh yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Why aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for like an anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My <laughs> life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If he <laughs> died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, Check in me. English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait. Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch... Oh, fuck! For a sec, I thought I... Where'd you come in? Like, just outside? There was this, like, weird... I don't fucking... Is he, like... Um... Oh, glassy... Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. What's your name? I'm Jekka. Jekka? Short for Jekka. That's pretty preppy. Yeah. Now I need to meet a Jekka in real life. Cool, yeah, same. Nicole! That's my new uh, quest. Two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general. He can eat. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, we kind of exact. Is he? Do you know what? Yeah, I, well, he's good enough. Dude, fuck. I told you. How does it even be? Isn't she's the only. Huh. So, so which class should we go to? Gym class again or photography? Uh, I guess we can go to photography this time. Get to save some more. So to not make the intro to beginners photo- Dude, why did I pick- So nice- You- s Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, <laughs> perhaps you can help me out in the dark room. I oh wait, we can go down this path and try to- and try to- and try to say no to being, uh, a white supremacist. Or a nationalist. Sorry, whichever it was. If you could- Okay. Well, you see- Here. No. I- No. Nay. Oh. No. Okay. You'll get a free meal of your choice. All right, let's go. Let's see how far down this will go. Well, I bet. Then it's whatever. You and a okay, bye. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. No. Whatever you. Say. And the pleasure was all yours. Yes. Yes. I mean. No. Sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white? I think this was the last. This was the last one. Are you a proud white woman? Oh no! Wait. We should go all the way down, and then I can come back to this part later. Because there's one thing where you like don't go with your friend Jekka or whatever her name was. Yeah, totally. So cool. How sweet? No. Oh. Right here. So this is I the last choice, I think. Yes. No, I guess white now isn't white. So, so Mr. Oh, does it? Am I honestly? Well, if like, well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You. Was there one me? more? Was he there one more right? choice at the end? There was one more choice at the end. I think there was one more choice at the end. I, I, yeah, uh, the count scene. No. Take but here. Or, I'm a nonsense. What's wrong? Come, if, uh, er, yeah, whatever. Bye. Oh hey. Yeah. And he. Uh, defend, yeah he. I, I know. So uh, I don't get see. So you well. And I said. Did he meant? He meant. Uh, oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm. Yeah. White. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Hilarious. Oh, rock. Can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. Who can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. Oh, this is like a new yes? scene. Thomas Jefferson? Very good. 
One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? Oh man, new choices. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to get to an ending. I don't know versus who gives a shit. Uh, let's go with I don't know. Sorry, couldn't tell you. Come on, this you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave sex thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Cause when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns slaves. Obama owns slaves? I guess we'll never have a non-racist president. Uh, no, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to lacrosse kid. He said the slave shit first. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing. So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore, shut up! Hey coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one, go on. I didn't get into lacrosse camp, such bullshit! Well, maybe just get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that, like, 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean like affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay. Who's with me? Who fucking cares? Say you love rap music. Who fucking cares Shut indeed? Shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the <laughs> whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, <laughs> how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, Damn. it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? My what? You know, to support this grand cause. That's grand what happens cause. when uh, you oh, don't Jeffrey, you intervene, it so huh? Weird. What we mean is like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. Are you gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere, and you can belong too. So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. 
So let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun, to socialize, or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well, the orders are fun, so kind of both. Get a video of this mess. Wow, this is, uh, this is deep. I didn't, this is great. So I guess there are, like, deeper lines. Uh, let's do the first one. Let's be, you know, <laughs> let's Jeffrey, see how far this, this goes. Sudden, but, like, wow. You want to take me out later? Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. Unless, of course, Mr. White told me Whoa. to. Whoa. No, I mean, like, take me out on a date. D date? You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Oh, uh, well, not that busy. I got to egg a synagogue this Friday, wow. but I could make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday's like my only free day for the next, like, forever. So damn, too bad. W what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that. Oh my god, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this wow. moment. Aryan students! Imperial scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! Well, that escalated. So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take it he's pretty happy. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about me. Always about you. Okay. Well, he wasn't really asking. Just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What the fuck? I know. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right. Damn. It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and expelled all the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like, 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit. All right, ending four. Got it. So these messages are from Jeffrey. Which one was this one? Oh man, that's a lot. All right, so if I continue and we just go back to this. So what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it just so I could review at home and practice. Oh, so you're joining? 
I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. All right, you better start rolling. Aryan brothers, assemble! Yo, we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. White pride worldwide! White pride yeah, worldwide! Yeah, awesome! White You're pride doing worldwide. great, guys! So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants, too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Upload. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan wow. seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire school. He kinda just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. Is that another ending? Does that count? Oh, it does. Got the five. All right. So what if we go back further in time? Who gives a shit? Uh, what? <laughs> Is that the first time you ever heard that? You can't force me to care about any of this. gonna end to the same when your SAT scores come back. I'm not taking the SATs. You only need that if you're going to a four-year college. Oh, so you're not going to college then. Think you have it all figured out. Why would a girl pay 40,000 like a year to get raped by a frat boy? <laughs> I think most colleges are uh, very test uh, optional yeah, right now. Get more laughs than you. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here. God damn. What's your right. you Hey, coach. Like, dude. Well, no. All these. You mean like. I call it fucking gay. Who's with me? Hey, you want to calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Whatever happened to classic rock or, or country? You know, like real music. Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh, yeah, you probably don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. <laughs> Yes, fuck you. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. How am I a wigger? Just like liking black people or something, whatever. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up. Uh huh. And also, if you. But don't. Nicole. Wow. I used to be as. Was it Pat? Oh! You didn't. That. Finally. She almost got me that time. Probably gonna end oh, in cool. one ending. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. no look. I could hey, where's your hair? My this one doesn't know. matter. Why would I when you the only yes so benefit what you... I know but then well but like so not really like for uh well the orders are fun, so okay. kinda of both. So let us go back to the main menu? Yes. Wait. Yes. That'll work. Sure. Oh, I didn't save in that one spot. No. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if no. this goes anywhere. I, yeah. No. I isn't white. So, so, Miss. Oh, does am I honest? Well, like, well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. What a lovely surprise, girls. Now, Nicole, you wouldn't happen to be recruiting another loyal white to our cause? Oh my God, it is true. We didn't even work it out of him or anything. It really puts the proud in white pride. Judging by your tones, I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. No shit. Is that why you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You really think I'm a quirky art girl? No, it's just a broad example. Please just try to see this my way. The white pride parties understood the error of their ways in the 20th century. Since then it's evolved from arson and lynchings. We simply wish to promote pride in our own heritage, just like the colored communities do. Colored communities? Oh, I'm sorry. People of color. 
How is that better? So there's black pride, that's fine. How is white pride any different? Proud about what? You already own everything. It's just a victory lap. If you don't cut this shit out, we're gonna stop it. You're two little teenage girls. You have no power over me or my people. Maybe not, but the principal does. Let's go. Ugh, did not want to get this involved. <laughs> go ahead and try. If you look like me, you'd cheat on your husband too. Miss Lynn, sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you back. You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. You do illegal plastic surgery out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. How can I help you girls? It's about Mr. White in photography. He's kind of- Stop! Stop! I get this conversation once a year. You've known about this? Unfortunately. And you're just okay with it? Absolutely not, but his defenses have my hands tied, I'm afraid. It's sick. I'd be inclined to agree. Another level of twisted, but he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students, so I'd rather not push the issue further. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, this isn't about that? We're here to report he's trying to recruit his students for white nationalism rallies? Okay, this I didn't know about. Yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason, go ahead. So we talked to him in the dark room, and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh man, uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not really, but it's more like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me, so I'd rather not get involved. He may or may not have pictures of you in neo-Nazi shirts, because I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. Nah. Nicole? I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So, I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. I'll be your enabling little princess. Two thousand eight. Whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. How was your spring break? Exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget about the hangout promises I made over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms, but should have time in the spring? Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. Not when you're hot. They never forget when you're hot. I'm hot? You fish for compliments? Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself, having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon-ass bitch meets at a diner? They all blend together, couldn't tell ya. Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangouts. Hey, let's do this again. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah, so now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. You're starting to sound like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Ugh. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts this week. Oh my god, you're that far in? That's like church girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. 
Don't be so cynical. We'll probably just murder you. Dying would be awesome right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his twisted little anime brain wants... Ew, okay. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? Yes. Good to know. Have fun with your little date. Ugh. So this is your place, huh? That's the third time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild, crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet your mom's out of town. You could throw a whole party, right? If I liked people enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw, oh, man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish, too. I'm standoffish? <laughs> no, 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 not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called, uh... Man, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> Has it really only been 20 minutes? Hey, I, I just want to let you know, you're <sighs> actually really pretty. I know. Pretty and like, pretty cool too. Your taste in music, it's like, it's like nothing I've ever heard before. You really know your stuff. No, I don't. I had Sean Kingston on for the last hour. <sighs> Humble too? Like, you're different. I'm not having sex with you. Whoa, what are you talking about? Fucking you was like the last thing on my mind. Unless you'd want to. You've worn the same Balcom socks for like two weeks. So that's a no? It's cool if it is. Pavement Busters. But yeah, it might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on Friday. What? I said you should see this place on Friday. Okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm 17 after all. And the ski ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this. Game and Busters are totally still a thing. Yeah, so are round ones. Yeah, bitches to suck my dick. I think I should start making rap songs. My dad has a MacBook. Damn, there's no more agency in this yeah, game now. Four? Not really for me personally. How about you? Sorry, season four of what now? The Doki Daisuke anime? You've been paying attention, right? To the first three seasons? Or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. Chef's like kiss. Like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates. I need a Viv shirt, just like my Stren pinball shirt. Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way. Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. But yeah, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. End of discussion. I'm not opposed to that stance. How about you, Nicole? Nicole? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted. It's gonna be another Somehow. suicide ending. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Poor new kid. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Because I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still on for tonight? Fucking Crispin! What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with you there. Shit, that concert was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Ugh, Why cover would you bands. agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. 
Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. But you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. Stay home and kill yourself. Oh man, that's clearly time for the time for that suicide ending. Okay, that's off. Mom shouldn't be back from her date for another four hours, so that's plenty of time. Are you kidding me? I just want to slice my wrist dramatically, and this is killing the whole vibe. Whatever, I want to die. It doesn't matter how. Nicole, I forgot my wallet. Just getting it. Oh my God, Nicole! Huh? What? What did you do to yourself? Can I just die in peace? Where's the cordless? I'm calling an ambulance. It'll be okay, sweetie. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if you just fucking left. Hello? Yes. My daughter attempted suicide. There's blood everywhere. Please send someone. What's it like to be happy? Like happy, happy. Sure, I can have fun, think something's cool, have a good time. None of that outweighs wanting to die. Mom had me locked up in a mental ward until my 18th birthday. So I learned what crazy pills actually do to you. They don't make anyone happier. Just more content with limbo. What sucks worse than killing yourself is fucking up killing yourself. You don't get to be a black and white headshot for eternity. You're just really awkward to hang out with. That's like over half, almost halfway now. All right, I think we can do maybe one more. Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Let's go to the concert. It's a good cover band name. I'm actually having an aneurysm. Uh, you? Mr. Colby, what are you doing here? I work here. Oh, I guess you had to find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about, fired? I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm a player, don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty van, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Fine. You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again. My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands. Hey, how was the concert last weekend? One as expected. Makes sense. So hey, you wanna skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? I would, but I just lost the will to do anything. I was with you at the fourth year when at BlizzCon, but I didn't go to that concert if you're gonna ask. The time together what if he kidnaps me what am i gonna do use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp this is bullshit what you blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like i know but like i'm too far in it's gonna be a nightmare if i tell everyone to fuck off now you have a choice to make it's either me or your hostage friendships end of discussion fuck well now i gotta think if i love you more than i hate being stalked if you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. See ya, Nicole. God, I wish I was a lesbian. You fucking whore! No, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why? It's a barcade. Everyone on the cross is talking about it. I... I don't get it. Is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! No, 
I didn't. Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together. Fuck off. All those times I took you out, and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too. If I knew you were easy, I would have tried more when I took you out. I'm done with you. From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. What the fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want to date, huh? I kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole fucking time! A grown man actually started a rumor about me. Somebody steal her backpack! Yeah, we gotta get our money back somehow! <laughs> and fuck anyone! Oh man, two, multiple choices. Clearly, let's go to the counselor's office because that's like the worst idea ever. Did you go to the Metallica concert? Oh, you went to gosh. all the concerts at BlizzCon, Good. right? I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down. To an extent. What's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. Kill is a rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more upset? Why does this matter? Let's try a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? I'd rather not get into it. Long story, gotcha. really weird and embarrassing. Fair enough. Weird Al was caught the concert once, when right? people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that. But Damn. the gym teacher, he was at this concert and now, like... Now hold on. So why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual frustration. Natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? Hormones? Teasing. Are we being I don't think they had a concert last time, right? And you're actually employed here? Don't deflect. You're usually so... sharing. How am I sharing? For instance, how you shared your body with the varsity football team? No. Oh, now, don't be ashamed. You should be proud of your spontaneity. In fact, I think I'll take you out on a personal field trip. I'd love to explore this curious side of you. Go fuck yourself. I'm seeing the principal. Might not be the best use of your time. Principal Lin knows, too. We all do. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? I can. Oh man, is this gonna be the real suicide? I guess. People are books, puzzles, and pawns. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would I also call don't remember who was the last manipulative. one. The but last what's concert the alternative? guest. Basically, any advice my mom's ever given me don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. Oh wow, the real suicide. And just like my dad. If you're reading this, I'm dead. Oh, a different message. Yeah, I see. So they're related to the endings. Alright, I want to know what happens if you run to mom. And then we're going to end the stream because it's already past 10. You need a prescription for a Vicodin? This is hardly a buzz. Yes, hello? Oh, hey you. Oh no, what is it? Are you serious? I guess I'll have a word, yeah. 
Mom, we gotta talk. Shh. Yeah, of course. My daughter just walked in. Okay, see you soon. Bye, sexy. I was just on the phone with your school. Who at my school are you calling sexy? Your principal. Why are you skipping school? Mom, you don't understand. Like, ten guys were about to jump me over a rumor. I had to split out of there. I don't care if it was twenty guys. They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. I told you not to screw up here. Mom, I can't help it if the pedophile gym teacher is trying to sabotage me. This is the first I've heard of any gym teacher. I told you about it three times. You would have remembered if you weren't always fucked up on Vicodin. That's it. That's it. You're going back to that school whether you like it or not. If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home. Fuck this, I'm done. Good. Lock yourself in your room. It'll be the last time you're seeing it. You got that right. Oh, same ending. People are books, puzzles, and pawns. In that order. Alright. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Okay. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically any advice my mom's ever given me? Alright. Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. We're just gonna hear the rest yeah, of this, sure, I guess. Hey, there's a video if you can get a mall, maybe. when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a For rapist? all the endings? Okay. They're called warning signs. But ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. If you're reading this, I'm dead. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. I'm gonna turn this off. Um, it's been a little bit too hours, so I, I think we'll have another stream. I don't know if it'll be this game, but I think there'll be another stream this week. It'll be uh, we'll talk zip about when we can do this again. But um, I think I'm gonna have a like a short stream tomorrow about a different game I wanted to show off for my time. Because I don't want my time just to be all pinball. Because I think there's a there's a lot of a lot of stream a lot of the streams already been pinball. So you know, um, yeah. So I th me think, and then so there could be a stream maybe tomorrow, not Wednesday. I don't think Thursday. Uh, maybe sometime this weekend. Yeah, actually, we'll talk <laughs> offline. Sit. All right. Well, this has been a really interesting game. I can say this has definitely been up there with needy streamer overload, but or overdose. It's Overload, right? They changed the name. Um, definitely more mature than even that. So hopefully uh, hopefully this is good and the mature rating on this channel will uh, will be okay. So yeah, I'll see everybody next time. Um, I don't think there's a pinball stream scheduled in terms of Extra Life, but the Pins and Pirates channel will be live on Friday with League. Uh, and then this channel will be live whenever. Uh, you can find some time. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.